Hey guys, it's Chroming1 from the Gun Star War Machines, and today I'm going to do uh, what you need for your first airsoft battle. Now, if you see over there, now's the beginning of the battle, that's my dog in there. Alright, uh, there's going to be three, there's gonna, this, I'm going to divide this video into three sections. Uh, weapons wise, equipment wise, what to bring in a bag, and clothing. And so before we begin, I should have brought my pistol, but I lost it. But anyway, oh, and I also have the uh, news on, so I won't get interrupted because people like to barge in. Apparently, they know when I make a video, they um, immediately assume, "Oh, look, you're not doing anything." So anyway, we'll start off with the clothing. What you'll need first is a vest, if you'd want to. I didn't start off with the vest. Um. This one cost me 20 bucks. The nameplate. These, the nine patch was 3 bucks. And another 3 bucks. See it on Star Wars Machines. That's the vest. And you can have it in any color you want. I chose it in black because it was my first one. So yeah. This, yeah, has. Two magazines, one pistol, one Mac 10 or Mac OZ clip, pistol, sidearm, shock, uh, etc. Or etc. etc. Shotgun shells. Uh, so where I put my dead rag. Uh, revolver shells. That's what I think it's for. This is for my gun, my, for my single point, and for my cell phone. And on the back. I carry a whole bunch of BBs and a tool and a screwdriver just in case in the battle the battlefield. So yeah, this kit carries this. Now next you'll need a matching uh, camo. Uh, I chose the BDU. I know this one's faded, but it still matches with it. Uh, yeah, long. I got mine long. I don't mind long, I don't go shorts, I don't think anybody would play shorts airsoft because of the woods and all the insects that'll bite you. Uh, camo uh, coat, I got the U and the CBs, picked up the surplus store, 7 bucks, 17 bucks, and yeah. A matching camo is always important because you always want to be stay blended in into the field. Hold on, give me a second. There, I made it a little quieter so I can talk more. And so yeah, vest, clothing. Also, this is this is not the belt I use. It's just another one I found when I was. Well, this is another one I found. It broke because I have, I have two of these. One long, one I used, and this is the other one I used, which is broken now. It's in two pieces. And so yeah, uh, you need a belt to carry in the water, walkie talkie, canteen, uh, pouches that go on the side of your belt. They hook on right here, they hook on to right here. And so yeah, this cost me around 7 bucks. So it's 20 for the vest, 7, 14 for the pants, and 7 for the coat. And if you, oh, you right. sorry, I had, sorry guys, I had to open the door. So anyway, so is it just in case it's any important, you need what to, you need something to wear, something to put on for shoes. I got tactical swap boots. Uh, I would recommend them because you don't see anybody walking, running around in sandals or Crocs. Shoes, maybe tennis shoes, maybe. Yeah, tennis shoes, maybe boots. Yes, boots. They're more reliable because they're waterproof and they don't get mud in there. Uh, mine, if you can tell, have been used in quite a lot of skirmishes because they're quite dirty. But on the bottom, they're clean. And so, yeah. 95 bucks, brand new. You probably get them new for 65, 65, maybe 75. Maybe 55, even, if you're lucky. And so, yeah. This kit care of the shoes, pants, and vest, and shirt, and coat. Next is protection. You must have, as I believe in the where I play, they are, where at 5J, 
Yeah, according to Tesla rules, you must have this, or actually not Tesla. According to the 5J rules, you must have eyepiece and a mouth guard. And this is just extra to cover your ears. A balaclava. And gloves, not really necessary, but if you'd like, I use them because it improves, my, improves the grip. And I use this for the helmet. And you can tell also this one also has been better. This cost me 20. This cost me set 5. Cost me 9. $13 for the pair of gloves. They don't have to be in. I use football gloves because I don't really plan on upgrading soon. And $15 balaclava. And that's for Hets helmet wear. I'm sorry I'm going where I'm rushing because I'll have a. I'm uploading a paper right now, and I need to be watching it, so I'm a little bit sorry if I'm So that kit here is clothing. Next is weapons, because that's going to be a lot. Now, you need a primary. A secondary, if I had it, it would be a pistol. And not really, you don't have to have it. Well, you don't have to have it. You don't have to have a primary or a secondary. You can just have a pistol or a rifle, that's it. I'm all, I'm all, all I use is my rifle, and for now I'm going to be using my knife as a tactical knife for knife kills and a bayonet. And so yeah, and what I also use is grenades. Sand grenades. You pull the pin, to toss it, two seconds later they explode. Now, I did use them a couple weeks ago, but I don't think the players knew about it. Did, because I threw the grenade, they, I have some, someone threw a grenade, I gave him the grenade because I was busy uh, flanking another side, but gave them a grenade and, I, and the guy, person threw it and it exploded. However, the person on that side did not call himself out when he continued in and rushed in later on, uh, figured out that he didn't know about it, the kill, because it's a 20 foot radius kill for these, and so yeah. Oh, this is the pouch I was talking about. It clips in. These little clips push down and up, and you slide the belt in like that, and you... You slide the belt. Let me see me just do this. Then you take this, and then you just... It doesn't go like this, but... I'm using the camera. Like, yeah, it goes like that. You put on both clips down and it holds like that, it holds on the side of your belt. I use it for grenades and BBs so I can reload in the middle of battle if I run low on a magazine. Because I do only use two magazines compared to everybody else who uses four or five. But yeah, you use mid caps, I use high caps. I am looking at the into mid caps right now. But anyway. Oh, and you also need two magazines, which I will get right now. If I can, yeah, magazines are in here, or in the front of my vest, but yeah, uh, so, rifle, melee, and pouch, oh, this also clips on the side of your pouch as well, which I'm gonna use, and also if you have a sling, it would make it easier, instead of you holding your gun all the time, you can just attach it to the sling and just hold on to it like that, but this is my homemade one point sling, it goes in that, you put it on, this crosses beneath. This crosses beneath the hand grip. No, not the hand. Uh, dang, I forgot the name. The carrying handle. It goes like that, and then you connect it to the that little part on the vest I showed earlier. And so yeah, and you also need a barrel sock. Very important. You are not authorized. You are not allowed to. Hold on. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm back. Like I said before, people. As soon as I start recording, people is they come come asking for my help. But before, when I'm not recording, they don't even bother ignoring me in, of it, talking to me. So anyway, you imp, imp, like it is very important you bring a uh, barrel cover because, like mine, I have mine's a black barrel, and before it was orange. If you get, if you are caught without a uh, barrel cover. And your tip is not orange. If you never heard of, if you if you haven't heard about that one incident where the boy with a boy with an AK uh, with an uh, airsoft gun 
It looked like an AK-47 lifted and pointed his gun at the police, and they shot him. Um, he did not have a barrel cover, and I don't take either sides. Uh, sure. Well, me, I'm leaning towards the cops. Because, sure, what would you do if you didn't know what gun, if the kid had a real gun or not? And he just pointed it at you. Sure, they could have double-checked. But, sure, and plus that kid shouldn't have never bring his gun outside without a barrel cover. But anyway, very important you bring these. Uh, if you have an orange tip, if your tip is orange, like here, if your tip of your barrel is orange, just wear a uh, slot barrel sock anyway. It makes it more... Uh, what's the word? I want to say it give you more lit more. Oh, give me a second. Yeah, I'm sorry. Here we go. They of course again they always knock at the door when I'm doing something. So, yeah. Anyway. Dang, I wasn't gonna say. Yeah, important. Bring a barrel sock. It makes you look more. Oh, it doesn't put too. It, I want to say more responsible. Yeah, more. I want to say put. It makes you look more responsible because you actually are following the rules and you want you care for your safety and it's of course your gun safety as well and for other safety so if you pull the trigger and there's still a BB in it it'll go off and hit this so it's very important you have that um so yeah like I think that covers the primary oh yeah if you're looking into it the best is have a gun at least with 300 FPS up to 400 500 which is the li no 400 which is the limit uh, where I play my 5j uh, make sure to have a, at least a good starter because the good starter gun would be have a at least a metal gearbox at least because that's important because you don't want to be in the middle of the battle and all of a sudden your gun stops working because you stripped the gears yeah uh, yeah so yeah it's very important at least you have a metal gearbox gun doesn't matter if it has a terrible outside, just as long as it's metal gearbox, just for the safety. Because I've had before an ABS gearbox, and it literally died. The gears stripped, stripped each other during the middle of the battlefield, and I pulled the trigger, and nothing would shoot out. And later I opened it up and found out that the gears were beyond tattered. So, yeah, it's always important to have an extra. And it's always important to have a metal gearbox. It's also important to have batteries. I have three. They're all charging at the moment. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, they're all charging at the moment. And so, yeah. I think I covered everything about the guns. Yeah. yeah. Um, I had to make room. Now, finally, here comes to what to, what to bring in equipment. So what I have in my box, I'll give away. I'll slowly take them out. And I think I have some oil. So yeah, I'm just gonna let that. Now these are the important things so far. Gas. I use gas for my grenades and a pistol I had before it exploded in my hands. Extra goggles. You never, ne you're never gonna go when those goggles will give out. I'm not saying they will, but maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe. Uh, measuring tape, just in case the coast needs to borrow, you'd be the person to have it. And, um, oil, you always want to oil your gun for the best performance. I use, I don't know, Angel Custom SC50, silicon oil spray, maintenance oil, and you're also going to need an extra dead red deck a dead rag just in case you want it so if you lose yours you can have yours you can have backup just in case and tape you never know what you need tape for the host will need it you'll need it you'll need it for tactical plans or tape when you're for a medic and like that so yeah that covers that um in this box i have my grenades or i have one grenade i'll be buying more and a whole bunch of more bb's Crossman BBs, 12 gram, 20 gram, my golden ball, and my other golden balls. That's what I bring. And the charger. Uh, if, we, if you go to the park I play, 5J, they already have chargers up there. So if you play a charger, don't worry about it. You can charge your batteries up there. But beware, they only charge 
M I N I M H and Nikid or N I C D, they do not charge lipos. Um, yeah, and you also need a case. Uh, this. I would if I had a water bladder. Uh, we put on your, we put it's like something to hold your water, and you wear like a backpack, and you attach the cord into your mouth, and you drink water from that. I don't have that, but I am looking to get one. Which is also important. Hydration. You always need to be hydrated. No matter what. You. It is not a good idea to go without water between breaks. Drink plenty of water before, after, and before, and after another game. It's like before game and after the game. During break, before game, after game, during break. It's always important to stay hydrated, no matter what. And also bring snacks, because you can. You will work up an appetite. When playing, trust me. I was beyond hungry as soon as I finished, and I forgot to pack snacks. So it's important to bring snacks. Now I forgot to open this when I was taking it out. Um, all it's in here is a bunch of tools for quick maintenance or quick repairs. Uh, give me a second. Quick repairs on my gun, just in case something happens to it. I just quickly open it up, fix the problem, and I'm ready to go. And yeah. And also, bring your phone. You'll never know when you need it. You won't. You won't. You won't probably won't need it for the game, but you will need need it for. You need it for when you go home, just in case you're late. You you're, you have to leave early, or you have want you have to go for an emergency. Always have your phone. And it's also important to have uh, your wallet. You're gonna have to pay for snacks. You're gonna have to pay to get in. But most importantly, you're gonna have to pay. This and that for to get in. How else are you gonna play? So bring your wallet, bring your phone. I have a watch right here for for just to tell the time, see what 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 time, get how long how long the game's in or uh, tactical things like you need a time and attack, which is also important. Well, not important, but if you want to bring it, I br I bring mine all the time. And so yeah. That, sorry if I say so, yeah, I literally run out of words. I'm terrible at making conversations. Uh, let's see, I see it covered everything. So, yeah, I think it covered everything. Uh, equipment to bring. Primary, wet, secondary. There's my dog. Uh, and clothing. Um, walkie talkies. I don't have any walkie talkies because I still need to get a pouch. But they can be useful. They can be helpful. And if you are worried about people cheating and tr getting onto your frequency, don't worry. Because before the game starts, the host double checks everybody with the radio has their is on their own frequency, so they won't cheat. So yeah. Oh, and also this fog proof. I always spray it on my goggles before that. And if you're wondering what this was, tape. So anyway, yeah. So frog spray will help clean up, make it easy for you to. Oh, well, we'll cause it won't. It won't. It won't. It won't. It doesn't promise you it won't be frog proof for a long time, but it will clean, help out a little bit during the game. So yeah. So the water. So let's just take reviews real quick. Primary warden. Primary weapon has been done. Uh, hydration. Make sure to drink water before the game, because you need a lot. It's a game uses a lot of energy. Uh, equipment and extras and clothing. All of them are important keys. And while playing, you need them because let's say, um, let's say your gun, the batteries die, and you decided to leave your equipment at home. Uh, once your gun dies, your game, your day is officially done. You have no batteries. You have no way to charge it. You have no way. You left everything. You just left this entire bag with your batteries. That's it. You're done. You. So it took, yeah, pretty much everything runs off of your gun. Your gun is a primary is the in rating number one, number two, and number three. Number three, you can probably live off with extra BBs. You can probably go, go without retrovies. Uh, you can ask for some, but it's really frowned upon over there. 
I don't do it, but if someone really needs help, needs like extra CO2, I'll glad lend them some. Uh, clothing is important because you don't want to get bites, infection, or any of that nice stuff. And you goggles are mandatory. Same with free pass and gun. Of course, you can't go. You can't go to an airsoft game without a gun. You can, uh, but you'd probably be as a cameraman, which is all you do is like what I'm doing. You just follow. You just follow their battles and record videos and you post them on YouTube or wherever you like. So yeah. All this is my in preparation for a World of Conflict 4 uh, for December 14th, to, no, but December 14th and 13th, which is next month. Uh, we'll be bringing, I will be going, my team, the rest of my team will be going. Also, if you didn't see the last video, our, our team, our team name will be posted on the Houston Airsoft forums uh, this week. It was very exciting when I heard that. I spread the news to the rest of my teammates, and they were really excited. And if anybody, just in case, we just want to make it clear, after we get our team posted on the forums, we will not be uh, accepting any requests for joining our for joining our groups until after December, just to get settled in. And later on, we'll do. Well, actually, the rest of the, if you want to hear more about it updates then you can go on to the video after this so yeah thank you for watching please comment subscribe and good luck out there